Hey guys, HTV here and welcome to a very, very exciting video. It's all about Pokemon Switch. I don't tend to do these kind of rumor videos or fake leaks or anything like that, but there's a lot of concrete evidence behind this and I've always said if there is a lot of evidence, you know, a lot of proof about something that could possibly be happening, I would make a video on it and that's exactly what we've got today. It's the month of May, as you all may be aware. May is when we get that powerful killer information for Pokemon games. We've had it in the past year with like black and white and everything like that and it's May right now. It's May the 15th, we're halfway through the month, so it's about time we got some lovely, lovely information, and that's exactly what has happened. Now, again, there's no real confirmation about this, it's just very, very likely, a lot of evidence, a lot of proof. But anyway, if you guys are excited for the video, please do leave a like down below, really talk about the video, all that good stuff. And without further ado, guys, let's get into the reason you clicked on this video and take a look at what's happened. So basically, we're going to start off with this dude called Pixelpar. If you don't know who he is, he has a Twitter account, and he's basically been like, kind of revealing little bits of snippets of information about the Pokemon Switch for quite a while now and he's basically been doing like drawings and stuff and he's saying that there's big hints in these drawings and everything like that um so if you aren't familiar with him you know that's just basically what's been happening and he basically uh he, he drew like red and Eevee and blue and Pikachu and everything like that and, and all this stuff and it's been revealed today that we've we've had like this name and it's Eevee and Pikachu let's go so it's Pokemon let's go Eevee and Pikachu edition so uh, like first off the bat that kind of basically means that we're probably going back to Kanto, so maybe that is going to upset you, maybe you're going to be super excited, but I'm not sure if it's going to be like 100 years in the future, like some people have said, I've seen some things about that, and I've also seen some things that's just going to be kind of like, not a remake, but just kind of like a retelling of Kanto, I'd be up for it being like 100 years in the future, but with some of the information that has been on the leak, I don't think that's going to happen, because it's just like, apparently Red and Blue are in these games, if it's 100 years later, I don't think they're going to be 100 years old unless they've been like, you know, keeping up those healthy diets. But uh, anyway, yeah, so we've got the Pikachu and Eevee Let's Go. That's apparently the name of the Pokemon Switch edition. So I'm sorry if that upsets you. It's nothing to do with me, obviously. It's what they've gone with. I think it's going to be an insane game anyway, whether it is going back to, you know, Kanto or it's a Generation 8, completely new region with new Pokemon. I'm going to be absolutely excited either way. I'm sure they'll bring new Pokemon to these games anyway. I don't think it's just going to be old, you know, Kanto Pokemon. So don't let that, like, completely throw you off the game. So anyway, we've got that. And then why it is so much evidence behind that, you ask? Well, let me just tell you. I'm actually so glad you asked, ladies and gentlemen, because Junuchi Masuda himself tweeted this picture out earlier, which has basically got a... He's holding a Pokeball, like, I presume that's his hand, which is a kind of a funny place to just hold a Pokeball like that. It kind of, to me, I will go on this later on the video, but it kind of looks like a Pokemon Go kind of picture, because the Pokemon Pokeball's like right in your face when you're throwing it and stuff. But we also have Pikachu, Eevee, and then we have Pikachu in a Luigi outfit. And that's supposed to be like, let's go, because obviously Mario and Luigi, they're like, let's go, kind of thing. So that's the whole point. Obviously, it's got L as well for let's go. So that's kind of why I believe that's kind of, you know, cementing this whole like thing that obviously did get announced today, this whole let's go Pikachu and Eevee thing. It's obviously just a rough copy. I'm not saying any of this is real or anything. I'm just saying there's a lot of evidence behind this. But yeah, we've got that going on, which is really, really cool. And so then obviously this picture that was tweeted out by Junichi Masuda. But of course that pixel path thing as well that we did mention earlier, he did draw loads of different things. That's also, again, everything he's been talking about links up because he's basically been drawing red and Pikachu, blue and Eevee. He put like a let's go picture up. And as you can see on your screen right now, it all kind of links up. So this dude, apparently, if this is true, knew all along. I don't know how. I don't know where he's getting information from. But, you know, kudos to you, man, because this is, like, some CSI stuff going on right now. Like, I would never have cracked this code. How are you even supposed to get, like, guess that? Let's go. And then Pete, I didn't even know. Like, I, I don't know how he even thought about how, to, like, to, I, didn't, I just think, like, round of applause. Props to you, my dude, because this is a really cool thing. But, of course, the meaty part of this video, the sandwich, the filler, the reason you clicked on this video is for these leaks. I'm going to say leaks. I'm going to say rumors, actually, because it's not a leak, because we don't know if it's true. It's technically rumor. Uh, about something that was released on Sunday the 1st of April on 4chan. It says real leaks. Let's go. I like the whole let's go thing because it's kind of like, yeah, Pokemon, Pikachu and Eevee, let's go kind of thing. But anyway, there's loads of things that they have apparently, you know, said in this like leak and it's kind of all coming true if this is all real. If this Janushi Misuda picture is real about the Pokeball and the, the Pikachu and Eevee and Luigi thing, you know, fasten your seats well because we're about to go on a bumpy ride. But anyway, yellow remakes for the Switch. That's the first thing. So apparently we're going back to Kanto. Now, I don't know if that's going to be true or not. Like I say, I, I would be happy with it. I would like to go back to Kanto. I've been playing since Kanto. And so if we did get like a reboot on the Switch, 
I'd be okay with it. I know it's going to upset a lot of people. I've seen a lot of people being like, no, 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 can't at all. But just listen to all of these things. If all of these things do come true, which obviously if this Pikachu edition and Eevee edition is, these probably all will be coming true. I'm sure you guys are going to be excited. So anyway, it's a yellow remake for the Switch, apparently. And obviously in yellow, you're, you're the red character. You start with Pikachu because blue takes the Eevee that was apparently yours. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to select either Pikachu or Eevee in this game, or you're just going to be stuck with Pikachu. No idea. Let's read on. Anyway, two versions, Pikachu and Eevee, which we have already gone over. Just really cool. This was out on the 1st of April, by the way, and it's now May the 15th when this thing did get announced, like, like not announced or released, but this kind of snippet of information with the whole Junichi Masuda thing did get announced today. So it's like over a month and a half ago, this came out. So I don't know. It's just kind of because of what actually Junichi Masuda himself tweeted out. It's kind of just pushing me in the direction that is a little bit more real, which is why I'm making this video. If Janishi Masuda didn't tweet anything out, I wouldn't be making this video. It's just the fact that he actually tweeted this out, and that picture alone looks like Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. It's just the whole Luigi thing. Anyway, um, so red and blue play a role in the story. You and your rival are new trainers, so which kind of points me towards the fact that we might be able to treat either Pikachu or Eevee. I, I feel like, I'm not sure, maybe we, maybe they're gym leaders, maybe one of them's the professor, because obviously Blue in the anime did become the professor, you know, he, he became a professor anyway, so maybe he's the professor in this game, because there's nothing about Professor Oak in this, and obviously if it's an older game, unfortunately Professor Oak may have passed away, maybe that's why Blue could be the professor in this game, we don't know, we don't know how much this is set in the future, but of course, in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, obviously, um, you know, Red and Blue had grown up a bit, uh, like 10 years like that's say like 10 years or something like that because they're a lot older so maybe this is like another 20 years in the future maybe professor oak has passed away we don't know that maybe blue is the professor maybe red's the gym leader we don't know red could be the champion most likely but anyway let's read on so following pokemon return so a while back we did get all of those walking animations for um all the different pokemon you know and a lot of people thought that was going to be for the 3ds but obviously the 3ds isn't really capable of really harnessing that but obviously with a switch the, the potential is you know far outweighs that of the 3ds which is why this is possible walking animation again a lot of people have loved that so maybe yeah we're going back to kanto but a lot of people have wanted walking animation and hey if this is real it's coming back uh next up we've got hm still replaced with pokey ride from malola i don't know how i feel about this personally because hms yes they can get a little bit annoying but they're kind of what makes Pokemon, you know, Alola was very nice, it was completely different to all Pokemon games we've ever, in, like, seen before. Gyms weren't in it, obviously we got no HMs with the Ride Pokemon. Um, Ride Pokemon is definitely easier. I don't know how I feel about it, though. I would kind of personally like to go back to HMs just because that's what Kanto was. But again, if Kanto is set in the future, I guess it would make sense to have Ride Pokemon, because they would have obviously incorporated that into the Kanto region. But anyway... Online has a hub for players. Now, this could definitely be a big selling point for the game. If this hub is like just a massive room kind of thing, like you can join, like, uh, you know how like on online games can kind of just like join a massive server and you can go around, talk to people, you can see their name, you can trade with them, battle with them there. I think that would be incredible. Just imagine you logging onto online, no festival plaza, get out of here. Imagine you just go into an online server, you're just there with like a hundred other players, and obviously it's random every single time, you join with random people, um, and then you can just run around, you can like, you can chat, obviously, you know, swear words will be banned and stuff, I, I guess. I don't want someone like coming in and just like swearing loads and everything like that, but, um, and imagine just going up to some random dude and being like, clicking on them and being like, trade, battle. How amazing would that be? Like, friend codes obviously are a thing, but maybe you don't need friend codes. Maybe you need friend codes, obviously, to just, you know, fight your actual friends and stuff, which is fine, but then you could actually go up to randomers. That would just be the best thing ever, just joining an online server, running around to different people, clicking on them, asking them to trade, battle. I think that would be incredible. I think that would be a huge selling point. The best ever online service we've ever had for Pokemon. I think it'd be amazing. Anyway, next up, we have Pokemon Go integration. Now, there has been some talk about this. Again, Junichi Masuda's, as I did mention, like this Pokeball at the start, kind of feels like something about Pokemon Go. But Pokemon Go integration, we have heard about things about like in incorporating Pokemon Go into the games and it then goes on uh, to say catching Pokemon works like in Go. Again, Janichi Masuda kind of looks like he's about to spin that thing, you know, and throw it at the Pikachu. That's just my personal opinion, but um, that would be really cool incorporating it because obviously we saw how successful Pokemon Go was in the summer. You know, it was incredible. Everyone was playing it. My brother was playing it. He hadn't played Pokemon in like six years and he even picked it up and played it. Um, I, I, everyone was on it. Everyone you walked down the street, everyone was on it. So obviously they're going to take parts of that because they're going to be like, hey, this game was incredibly well, incredibly successful. Let's put that into one of the biggest games that we're ever going to release. Why would 
don't they? It just makes sense. They already know that was successful. So why not incorporate it into a brand new game? I, I just think it's a very smart, you know, idea for Nintendo to do that. And then basically said that the rewards in game and in go for linking the two together, which again, it just kind of incorporates so much stuff about Pokemon Go into the games, and it would surprise me if that wasn't true. If this all of this is true, it would surprise me if they didn't incorporate Pokemon Go into it. But I think that'd be a really cool idea because you know, catching Pokemon like in Pokemon Go, you spin it. I don't know how that would work. Maybe you have to spin the analog stick. I don't know. Obviously, it's touch screen and stuff, so maybe you have to do it like that. That would be really cool. I don't know how they'd incorporate like Pokemon battling into that. So obviously, you send your Pokemon out to weaken the Pokemon. I, I wouldn't want it just like Pokemon Go where they're on full health you just like throw it and they could escape and stuff like that. I don't know. I would like my Pokemon to battle it so I've got a better chance. Because imagine if you like shiny hunting, you come across a shiny and then you just spin it and then it just flees. Like, you want to paralyze it, you want to false swipe it so it can't get away. But I guess fleeing and stuff is more realistic in a way that it would run away. But that's just my two cents on that situation. Anyway, new accessory can be used with both Go and the games. Again, more Pokemon Go incorporation. Why wouldn't they? Pokemon Go was a very successful game. And it still is a very successful game to this day. A lot of people are like, oh no, Pokemon Go is dead. Well, it really isn't, to be fair. It makes a lot of money. It makes like a million a week or something. So it's obviously not dead. And then the last thing is an announcement soon releasing this year. And like I say, it is May. Um, the big announcement month. So maybe we're going to get it today after I make this video. Maybe it's happening right now. I'm just obviously recording this video. Maybe it happens next week. I don't know. Just if this is true, I, I would love it. I don't know. What do you guys think? This, that's all the information for this video that I've got. I'm not going to go into any other rumors and stuff. This is just the concrete evidence that does support the fact that Pokemon, you know, Pikachu, Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee could definitely be a thing that, you know, would be announced for Generation uh, well, it wouldn't be Generation 8, it just won't be a brand new region. Well, it could be, Kanto could be completely different, we don't know, but I'm super excited about this. I really hope you guys are as well. I know some of you guys might be upset if this is true, but with all the information that we've got, like this Let's Go thing that was announced, you know, obviously the Junichi Masuda picture, this definitely has the most evidence and the most proof and is the most plausible explanation of what we are going to get on the Switch. But that is everything from me though, guys. Hope you'd enjoy. Please do remember to leave a like down below if you did. Any more information on this, I probably will cover. I'm not going to be going over other like rumors and stuff like that. It's only this because it does look very, very plausible, like I say, and you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Whatever it is, I'm really, really excited. But that is everything from me though, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing rest of your day. And until next time, guys, peace.